Hey guys, Kirk here from Acid Bite, and I've got a really cool package for you today. Uh, we just released our textile transitions pack. Um, this is full of amazing textures, overlays, animations, uh, sound effects, and it's all coming from the world of fabrics. Um, we've also got pre-built transitions for DaVinci, uh, Final Cut Pro, and Premiere. And today, I'm going to show you how to use those in Premiere. So, as you can see, I've already got my Premiere timeline set up here with two different clips. Um, and then when you download this package from us, you're going to get a folder structure that looks like this. Um, you've got the Assets folder here, which has the toolkit in it, and that has all of our amazing footage and SFX. You've also got the Pre-built Transitions folder, so come down into the Premiere Pro, and you just want to grab this project and import it straight into the project that you're working in, and select Import Entire Project and Create Folders for Imported Items. So, as you can see, we imported the entire toolkit and the pre-built transitions folder. Um, one thing to, to note here, guys, is because you're working on a different computer than these uh, assets were made on, Premiere might have difficulty finding them, locating them. So, you just if you need to relink, just point it to the folder in which you downloaded everything to, and then it should all be fine. It'll relink, no worries. So another very important thing, guys, is that we have provided you with some presets in uh, your downloads folder. And you need those presets to be installed to make the transitions work properly. So in your effects panel, you can basically click anywhere and go to import presets. And when this window pops up, you just want to grab your uh, transition presets and drag it over, then hit open. And you'll see that it makes this new folder for you with all of those presets that you're going to need to make these uh, pre-built transitions operational. So you have a ton of options here to choose from, but I'm just going to explain how to do this with one. Um, the same process applies to all of them. You can see their sequences, so when you double click on them, you're going to get this whole uh, layer structure. And if we want to use this one, for example, I'm just going to select all of these layers and copy those. And then when we go back to our timeline, guys, I'm going to deselect the first video layer because if, if I don't do that, when we paste in these clips, it's going to override our original shots. And now from here, we want to line these all up correctly. So you have the transition seven frame, uh, which is on the third video layer. And you want to put that lined up to the end of your first clip and then bring your second clip up and line that to the start of the frame layer. So now both clips are lined up to the end of the frame layer. And then I'm going to make a little cut at, on each clip at the end of the frame layer. And after this point, we just want to go to our presets that we loaded earlier. Uh, we are using shot, uh, transition seven. So I'm going to grab the shot one and add that onto my first clip and then the shot two and drop that onto my second clip. And uh, real quick, guys, because we're working in HD and all the assets are 4K, I'm going to select those and come down and do set to frame size. And now the transition is nearly complete. We just need to check one last thing. Uh, on your second shot, you will have the track mat key effect applied. That'll come in with the presets that we gave you. And for some reason in Premiere, occasionally there's a little bug where this setting kind of gets lost. and It's not automatically targeting the right layer. But what we need to do is target the video layer which has the lower or the second of our transition frames on it. That's what we want the track map to target. So click on your second shot, come up here, and for our project we're going to do video 4, and you'll see that it automatically uh, makes the effect look correct. It's as easy as that, guys. It's uh, super fast and uh, fun transitions that we've created here. Just don't forget to make sure that the presets you're using match the transition and check that that uh, track mat is targeting the right layer. So thank you for watching. Thanks for downloading. And I'll talk to you next time.